That is a neighborhood intersection in the Northwest Valley taken over while police filled the strip for New Year's Eve. Neighbors say something needs to be done before someone is killed. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Kim Passoff in for Lauren Martinez tonight. Neighbors we spoke to say it is a new year, but it is the same problem. Young drivers recklessly performing stunts on their neighborhood streets. <laughs> In front of cheering spectators, four cars do donuts in the intersection of Gowan and Grand Canyon. That was just before midnight, as more than 1,000 Metro officers were assigned to patrol the strip. But neighbors say it happens even in broad daylight. It just really, really escalated last night. To, it was just mayhem. Skid marks and pieces of a smashed taillight are on the street today. Neighbors shared video with us how that happened. Carrie Seitz was there and says about 200 people took over the intersection near her home. I called 911 and told them what was going on. They asked if I could get some license plates, so I tried, but a lot of them removed the license plates. She says they shut down all the surrounding streets. No one could get through during the impromptu sideshow. There was an RTC bus that was stopped and couldn't even get through. Uh, when all of this was going on. Stacy says people in the crowd surrounding the cars had to repeatedly jump out of their way. There was people I thought were going to get hit and run over, uh, killed possibly. It was just so terrifying. I was terrified for the people that were perpetrating the crimes. She says despite her calls to 911, police never arrived. We're just so tired of it. This is supposed to be somewhere where you go to be safe. You go to your home to be safe. I don't want my neighbors run over. I don't want the people perpetrating this to be run over. And that's what looked like was going to happen. It was insanity. And we did reach out to Metro about this to ask if this incident is being investigated and if anyone was cited. So far, we have not heard back.